I'm Becca. And I'm Matt, and this is your Tech News Update. This week we've got bendy batteries, a high-tech watch and a Frankenstein virus. But first, Vumotes. There are a few devices that now let you control them with your iPhone or iPad, but the infrared control is still the norm for most things. German company Vumote will launch the Vumo Air later this year, which uses your iPad or iPhone as a universal and very customizable remote control. The app lets you mix and match virtual controls so you can have your TV, hi-fi and DVD controls all on one screen. The app connects to an infrared sender using Bluetooth which in turn controls your devices. When the Air launches later this year, it will also benefit from a TV guide so the user can see what is on TV and with a single press of a button, turn on the TV and switch to that channel or record the show. Batteries are usually pretty rigid things, so devices tend to be designed around them rather than the other way around. But that might change if LG Chem succeed in perfecting cable batteries. The flexible battery technology should enable devices to be designed with less thought for where the power comes from, as the flexible design means power can be fit into almost any shape. It's hoped the flexible batteries might be a way to improve wearable computing solutions in the future. While we're on the subject of wearable computing, this watch from Citizen might look pretty analogue, but it's actually packing some pretty clever technology. It connects to your iPhone via Bluetooth and has subtle ways to alert you to things. Imagine if you will, you're a high-powered executive at a conference and your email arrives on your phone. You don't want to be accused of playing Angry Birds or checking Facebook every five minutes. You're a high-flying executive, remember? Instead, the alert goes to your watch, which swings the second hand to one of the words around the rim of the watch. It will let you know what's happening, whether it's an email or a phone call. Sadly, it can't distinguish whether it's an email sending you Viagra or a phone call from your mother-in-law, but it does let you know something is happening. The watch itself isn't ostentatious and certainly doesn't look geeky, but it will cost around 350 quid, which is a lot of money to pay for subtlety. Viruses are bad, but they're usually detectable because they use code that can be recognised. Researchers at the University of Texas have built an application called Frankenstein, which builds malware that is less detectable. Like its namesake, the app uses parts of the code from other apps. These snippets of code found in Explorer or Notepad are generally harmless, but when Frankenstein stitches them together, they can be monstrous. Unlike Frankenstein's monster, which had little bother blending in, the snippets of code can go undetected by antivirus software because the individual parts are familiar. The antivirus software doesn't see how the parts are attached, so it doesn't raise the alarm. Thankfully, the researchers are working for the US Air Force, so once the monster is animated, it'll probably be defending us rather than attacking. Although once you've created a monster, things don't always go to plan. That's all we've got time for. Thanks for watching.